Many of you had questions about these small boards and how I prep them and hang them. So here we go. Welcome back friends. So thank you for stopping by today. We're just going to have a short video where we talk about these deep cradle boards. I buy the birch ones. They have no gesso finish on them. So we need to start somewhere and that's where we're going to start. So you might have seen me create this a couple of weeks ago and this is one of the uh, one of the collages that's going in my exhibition next month. And so I still have to sign it. I still have to prepare it for, um, for hanging. And uh, I just did get a question recently in the comments about how I prepare the boards for collage and also, you know, how do, how do they hang against the wall? How well do they hang against the wall? So I wanted to show you exactly what I do and what I found was the best way, because this is so flush back here, that I found that when I put a D-ring in a wire, the, the board kind of, like if this was the wall, it kind of hung away from the wall slightly, and I really didn't like that. So what I, the solution that I came up with was one of these little um, sawtooth hangers that you hammer into the back, right in the center, but then that leaves it like a tiny fraction away from the wall. So then in the bottom corners, I put these little bumpers and then it hangs perfectly like about maybe uh, less than an eighth of an inch away from the wall, depending on how, how far in you hammer this in. So another thing, so let's start from the beginning though. These are birch wood deep cradle panels. I think I got this one uh, on Amazon. I start with a black gesso. That's my preference. But you could also do a white gesso, any color, any anything you want. You just need to seal this wood. And usually I do two coats and I do the sides as well. Now you can see on this one, I'm keeping the sides black. And all of the ones that are from this little, little tiny series of three, they all have black sides. But I haven't varnished the sides yet, um, so they aren't they aren't as glossy as the front. But uh, I will varnish the sides, and then I will attach my little sawtooth and my little bumpers, and we'll be ready to go. But Another thing I have to do is I have to sign it. So I'm going to sign it in this corner right here with a gold pen. This is a um, oil-based, permanent, opaque, fine point gold pen. And I use this other one just to sort of have something to rest on. And let me make sure my pen is... I want to get the right... There we go. All right. So it's kind of subtle, which is what I want. I don't want my signature to scream out, but it's uh, blending a little bit and looks nice. So now I have to let that dry I will probably throw a little bit of that satin varnish on top of that as well. All right, so we don't need this one anymore. This is the satin varnish. And I think I'm going to put it in a little cup. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this in this cup. As you can see how fluid it is. And I'm just going to and this will kind of match the finish on the front. And I might need two coats. 
The gesso looks like it's really soaking it up. So I also want to mention that on some of the panels that are thinner than this, like this is a deep cradle, I have some other panels that are only maybe, I think they're three quarters of an inch. Those panels are going to get framed. And I'm, I'm using a floater frame for those. So in the end, I think it'll look the same thickness as these. And I'm going to do exactly the same sawtooth and bumpers on that. And we're going to just let the sides dry and then we'll, we'll see if we need a third coat because the gesso is just really soaking up this satin varnish. Okay, it looks fine to me, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. good all around so now this is the top so here is where I'm going to put my my little sawtooth hanger and I'm going to get a pencil and my ruler so I'm going to make sure that I'm really this board is not exactly eight inches as it says it as it was supposed to be okay so I'm marking the four inch mark and I've got my, I have this cute little hammer. Love this little thing. So that little dot there, and this kind of is the middle one. That's where we want that, that um, line to be lined up. So let me see if I can get this where you can actually see and where I can also see so that I can hammer this. So right, so right there. And I kind of press in a little bit. I can make, this wood is soft enough that I can make a little bit of an indent. Okay, so you could see it's crooked. I gotta pull it out. It's hard to do when you're trying to do this on camera. So I'm just going to slide that one down a little bit, hammer it again. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so you can see it does have, this is slightly offset, and hopefully it's about the same as this. So this side has to go in a little bit more. And if we look again, it's kind of like level. So now what I do is in these corners, these are sticky back, and I just stick them in the corner. So now when I hang this on the wall, it will be evenly spaced. In other words, the space from the wall to where the, the panel starts will just be like you know, maybe a little less than an eighth of an inch, and it will be even from top to bottom. And, and it's these little details that really make a difference when you're selling art. You want your collector to take it home and just hang it and not have to worry about these little details. And you want them to be happy with the way it looks when it's hanging on the wall. If it's, if it's like hanging forward from the top, it's not going to be a good look. Thanks for watching today and don't forget to create, inspire, and share. 
and give wood panels a try. I love them. Mm -hmm.